Hello, my name is Ruthie Solani and I am the Director of Gynecologic Oncology here at UCLA. I am proud to lead a nationally recognized team of leaders in our field. Our team of gynecologic oncologists focuses on providing comprehensive care for patients with cancers affecting the gynecologic or reproductive organs. This includes cancers or conditions of the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, cervix, vagina, vulva, and pregnancy-associated cancers. As gynecologic oncologists, we focus on different aspects of cancer care. We perform surgeries, including open cases and minimally invasive cases with state-of-the-art technology. We also administer systemic treatment, such as chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapies for the management of advanced or high-risk cases. And we work with our colleagues in radiation oncology, palliative medicine, radiology, pathology, and many other fields to provide each patient with a personalized approach to cancer care. We also offer a large portfolio of clinical trials that includes novel approaches to treatment in the hopes of improving all cancer-related outcomes. I wanna highlight some opportunities to help reduce risk and or help with the early detection of gynecologic cancers. First, know your family history of cancers. This includes the type and age of cancer diagnosis. This changes with time, so keep your healthcare team up to date as needed. The HPV vaccine can also reduce the risk of cervical cancer as well as several other types of cancers. Whether you have the vaccination or not, you should still keep up to date with your cervical cancer screening, which includes HPV and pap testing. It is so important that you review and understand the results of your test and schedule future screening or further testing as indicated. Thirdly, engage in a healthy lifestyle, including being active, eating well, and avoiding tobacco exposure. Work with your healthcare team to make sure you are optimizing the management of your other health issues. Most important of all, listen to your body. Despite screening and healthy living, cancers can still occur. Symptoms to be mindful of include the following. For ovarian and fallopian tube cancers, watch for abdominal bloating or swelling, feeling full early, or having persistent pelvic pain. This should prompt further evaluation, which may require imaging. For endometrial cancer, abnormal uterine bleeding is the most common symptom. Note that postmenopausal bleeding is never normal and should always be evaluated. For cervical and vaginal cancers, symptoms can include abnormal bleeding, particularly after sexual activity, a foul-smelling discharge, or pelvic pain. And for vulvar cancers, which is the skin on the outside of the vagina, you may notice itching, discoloration of the skin, or a bump or lesion that is new or growing. If there is a concern for any of these conditions, you should see your doctor for further evaluation. Knowing your body and being promptly evaluated are the key to early detection. With our comprehensive approach, your care at UCLA will include excellent state-of-the-art surgical care, up-to-date and cutting-edge therapies, including clinical trial access and high-level survivorship care to help you and your loved ones as we work together to provide you the best outcomes.